Want to build a gaming PC for under 500 bucks? With this month's build, we've got you covered. Welcome to the Nix. Gearing up for 1080p gaming, in Battlefield 4 in high settings, we saw just under 43 average frames per second. On Tomb Raider, always a favorite on ultimate settings, we saw close to 42 average frames per second. Next up, Crisis 3, love that game. On medium settings, we saw 40.3 average frames per second. And last but not least, Far Cry 4 on medium settings, 35.1 average frames per second. And I know that some of you folks out there want to do more than gaming. So we ran Geekbench and we also ran it on 32-bit. This way you can compare your system as well. For the single core score, we saw 1134. And on the multi-core score, we saw 3,662. On Cinebench 15, on OpenGL, we saw almost 23 frames per second. And the CPU score was 151 CB. So now you know what the system's capable of. Let's see what it actually looks like and what's inside. For the case, we went with the Cinti CS2. Now this thing's packed full of features for under 50 bucks and it even has a window. It features USB 3.0, solid fan support and supports ATX, micro ATX and mini ATX motherboards. There's also plenty of room for a beefy ass video card and this thing has some awesome blue LED lighting to add some life to your build. For the processor, we chose an AMD Athlon APU. This is the 5350. Now this bad boy features four cores clocked at 2.05 gigahertz and also integrated graphics. So if you wanted to use it in a cheaper build, you could. But for this one, we paired it with a dedicated GPU for more gaming power. For the motherboard, we went with the ASUS AM1M-A. Now this is a micro ATX form factor motherboard that supports memory up to 1600 megahertz. USB 3.0 and doesn't come up short for something that's under 40 bucks. For the video card, which is really one of the most important things in a gaming build, we went with the XFX R9 270. Now this bad boy packs two gigabytes of memory, has 1280 stream processors, a 925 megahertz boost clock, and it packs enough power to kick ass in 1080p gaming. To round out the build, we went with four gigabytes of crucial 1600 megahertz RAM, a one terabyte Western Digital Blue hard drive, and a 550 watt Cooler Master GX2 power supply. Now, if you folks looking to build one of these things for your PC gaming pleasure, we'll have all these parts listed over on techoftomorrow.com, which has been completely revamped using Squarespace. It's clean, simple, easy to navigate, and also lets us add the Tech of Tomorrow music you guys love so much, like the Benchmark song. You can try Squarespace free for 14 days, and those of you who do, you will get a chance to win this awesome system. All the details will be linked down below. Aside from that, folks, I hope you guys like this video and that you guys are going Jackie Chan style on that like button. I'm Elric, and thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow.